our studio audience are here to play some of your favorite games in a whole new way. Barrel of Monkeys, Simon Flash, Connect Four Basketball, Monopoly Remix, and Battleship. The games are bigger, the moments are priceless, and one lucky family might just leave here tonight with a brand new car. Plus, a celebrity family will play one of our games right here on Family Game Night, Celebrity Edition. And now, here's your host, Todd Newton. Thank you, guys. All right. Good to see you. Hey, Isaiah. Hi, guys. Hey, how are you? Hey, I, I, how are you? 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 All right. And thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Welcome to Family Game Night. Tonight, we got a bunch of larger-than-life games that we're going to play for you. And always, the contestants are going to be picked from our audience here in Hollywood. And one lucky family will get to play our Monopoly Crazy Cash game where they could win a brand-new car. So here's actually the alternate opening uh, when the episode actually first premiered. Where Todd actually gives a little... Special message. Welcome to Family Game Night for a very special first episode of season number five right here on the Hot. Because we're all friends around here, I got a little surprise for you guys. We have a special celebrity guest and his family coming to play one of his favorite games tonight. The guy is great. He's been making us laugh for years. I can't wait to bring him out here. It's going to be a very special night, and we're glad everybody is here for it. Let's go ahead and get things started. Who wants to play? I need one family to play Barrel of Monkeys. We need Noriah, Courtney, and Floyd. Let's go right back here. Hello, Noriah. How are you? Good. Beautiful family you have here. Thank That's you. nice. Thank you. you all been watching the show for a while? Yes, yes. yes. So you've seen Barrel of Monkeys? Yes. yes. Good, good, good. Well, this is going to be a lot of fun, guys. I'm glad to have you here in our colorful jungle, among our colorful trees as we play Barrel of Monkeys. Now, the object of the game, as you know, because you've been watching the show for a while, is to place chains of monkeys on each of the five trees that you see here in our ever so colorful jungle. But there is an important rule. You see, every tree has to have more monkeys than the one before it. And what I mean by that is the red tree over here has to have more monkeys than the white tree. White tree more than the green, green more than the blue, and blue more than the yellow, okay? You wanna place the highest number of monkeys on this side and the lowest number of monkeys on this side, okay? If you can place monkeys on all five trees, you're gonna win a vacation to Jamaica. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. All right. Now you're gonna get the monkeys out of these barrels right over here, guys. One barrel has one monkey in it. Another has two monkeys. Another has three, then four, all the way up to 10, okay? Great. You'll open a barrel and a chain of monkeys will come out. Then you'll choose which tree to place those monkeys on. And we're going to keep playing until you place monkeys on all five trees or you pull out a chain that you just can't hang, as we like to say. <laughs> and one more thing for you, you know, one barrel is going to make you the top banana. If you choose that barrel, you'll get a save, which will keep you in the game if you find a chain that you just can't hang, okay? okay? Now we'll show our home audience which barrel uh, would make our family here the top banana. Take a look, this is just for you at home. <laughs> All right, you got it? Okay, good. All right, we're off and running. Naraya, who would you like to choose the first barrel, or do you want to choose it yourself? Um, I would me. Okay, well, anyone you want, my love. Okay. Go ahead. Go get it. Bring it on over here. Bring it on over. Push that barrel on over, Naraya. Come on. Come on. There you go. All right. You can go on over there with your family. Okay. We want a nice high number or a nice low number, okay? All right, here we go. Your first barrel. And here comes the vine. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Seven. Now, family, where do you want to put that chain? 
Let's go white. White? Okay, put it white. Okay. Leave yourself a little room there in case you get the eight, nine, or ten. Okay, who's gonna choose the next barrel? Me. All right, Courtney. <laughs> Courtney posing a little bit over there, wasn't she? <laughs> All right, come on, here we go. Let's bring down the vibe, please. Here we go, we have one, two, three, okay. Where do you want it? Blue, okay. Put it in the blue. Now, you guys are pretty, Pretty strategic here. You thought oh, yeah. this out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Floyd says, we got to think this out. We got Jamaica riding on yeah. this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Floyd, are you going to grab a barrel here? Get in the mix? All right. All right. Let's go B. All right. Come on. And here comes a vine for Floyd. One, two, three. Gotta go green. Gotta go green. Okay. Now just to just to take a look where we are here, we definitely do not want to see the four. We definitely do not want to see the six. All right. Are we coming back to you or who's gonna choose the next barrel? Me. I'll come back to you. Well the audience likes that. There you go. <laughs> we don't want the four. We don't want the six. Let's see what Naraya has for us in this barrel. All right. One. All right. Gotta go over in the yellow tree. Okay. All right. Let's relax here. Let's get to it. All right. Yeah. Get, find your center. Find your center. All right. We need eight, nine. Or okay. ten monkeys. <gasps> Eight, nine, or ten. Daddy, right Is Daddy going to do it? Daddy's going to do All it. All right, Floyd, Daddy. go do it. Daddy, All right. All right. I don't want to do it. Man, oh man. This is this is something, isn't it? No. We need eight, nine, or ten. Three of the barrels that are on this stage send you to Jamaica. Three of them send you home. All right? And we're gonna find out if you're going to Jamaica. Good luck. Bring it down. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Congratulations! All right, they're going to Jamaica, and my buddy Andrew is going to tell you all about it. Franklin D Resort and Spa, an all-sweet, all-inclusive boutique family beachfront resort in Jamaica, where each family is assigned a dedicated vacation nanny from check-in to check-out. Enjoy water sports, kids, preteens, and teens programs, live entertainment, and much more. And Naraya, would you join me right up there? I need you to choose a combination for our community chess. Now, Naraya is going to choose one of these combinations, and one of them will open that community chess. That's what tells us who plays the Monopoly Crazy Cash Machine at the end of the show for that new card. It's in there pretty good, huh? Naraya has picked blue, orange, green. Would you hold on to that for the rest of the show? It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Enjoy your vacation, all right? That's a lot of fun, but now... I need to pick two families who are going to play a little Simon Flash with me. Let's see who it's going to be. All right. Natalie, Nathan, Michelle, and Michael, it's your turn to play. <laughs> and you'll be facing off against Tate, Abby, Kim, and Joe. 
meet you, Nathan. Good to see you, Michael. How are you? Hey, Chase. How are you doing? Hi, Abby. Pleasure. Hi, Kim and Joe. Welcome. A couple of good-looking families, and they're ready for Simon Flash. You get to see it all when we come back on Family Game Night. Yeah! Welcome back. It's Family Game Night. Natalie's family and Tate's family. They're getting ready to play Simon Flash. Now, before we jump into the game, I want to tell you how things work. Now, right up there on the giant screen, you're gonna see a color sequence. It's gonna look like this. Take a look at our sequence. Okay, you saw it, right? We need to pay attention to that because each of your cubes, guys, is gonna reveal a color, and you have to duplicate the sequence we show you on the screen by shuffling yourselves into that exact order. Then when you're in the order, you need to lock everything in, and the way you do that is just by bumping each other. Not too hard. You, not, you don't knock your sister over, just nice and easy, Tate. All right, be the first team to do that correctly and you get a point. First team to give me five points wins the game and wins a hoop dream spectacular, which is very cool. Okay, if everybody's ready, give me an oh yeah. Oh yeah. Then let's bring down those lights. Look at the big screen. Here is your first sequence. Go. All right, now talk to each other, guys. Look at your cubes. Lock it in when you think you have it. Who's going to get it? You got it right over there, Tate's family. There's one. Very good. All right. One, zero. Here comes your next sequence now. Move around. Every second counts. You got it again. There you go. Two for Tate. Still waiting for Natalie to jump on the board. Next sequence starts to move quickly. Here it is. There you go. You got it. Yeah. You got it. All right. Two, one. Still very much anybody's game. Every sequence counts. Here is the next one. To two. All right. Ooh, this is getting good. All right. Good luck to both families. This is a great game. Next sequence. You got it. There you go. Three to two. All right, guys. You can tie it up right here. Remember, first family to five wins. You're two away. You're three away. Next sequence. A bit close. We are tied at three. Tied at three. Great job by both teams. Next sequence right now. Yes. Four, three. One more. This game belongs to you. Next sequence. Pay close attention. Let's go. It has come down to one very quick, very fast-moving sequence. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Here it is. You got it! But you guys did it, which means you guys, Natalie, win this. You'll experience the Harlem Globetrotters live and meet the team. The Globetrotters are known for their ball handling wizardry, basketball artistry, and family entertainment for fans of all ages. And for more basketball fun, you've also won the Lifetime Streamline 44-inch Impact Portable Basketball System. 
featuring an impact backboard with telescoping height adjustment, a classic rim with all-weather nylon net, and a 12-gallon portable base. Both teams were such great sports, and you guys played a great... I tell you what, Tate, what I'd like to do for playing so well, I'd like to give you and your family $100 just for coming to see us, okay? Good? All right. I need Natalie and Tate to join me right up here. I want you to choose a combination to the community chest. Natalie, you go ahead and go first. Tate, come right on over here. Anyone you want? What do we have? And we have orange, green, red. At the end of the show, we'll see if that opens the community chest for you, all right? Tate, all you. There you go. All right, blue, green, orange. Nice job, my friend. Good meeting you. All right, they're going to hold on to that to the end of the show. One of those combinations opens the community chest. That's the family that will play for that brand new car. Now, coming up next, it's Connect Four Basketball. You don't want to miss it. Come right back, okay? Welcome back. This is Family Game Night. We're having some fun tonight. Hey, I need two families. Two families. How about, oh, McKenzie, Matt, and Mike, and Rhonda. It's your turn to play. And I need another family, too. I need one more family. Uh, Grayson, Jack, Wendy, and uh, Scott. Here they come. How are you? <laughs> McKinsey gave me the I'm a little nervous about this walk when she came on stage. It's <laughs> nice to have you here. Isn't this exciting? Yeah. Yeah, you've been cheering everybody on the whole game. Did you have any idea you'd be down here tonight? No. No, that's good. Well, we are glad everybody's here. And how you doing, Grayson? I'm doing mighty fine. Oh, is that right? Well, we are glad everybody's here. We're going to play a little Connect Four basketball. Let's go right back here. Okay. The hoopsters are ready. And the object of the game, as you know, is to get four in a row. You got to do it vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. The first team to do that wins an ultimate backyard entertainment package. Yeah. McKenzie's family, come on up there to the circle. Let's play Connect Four Basketball. Give it a shot. There you go. All right, Grayson. Nice one, both teams on the board. Let's go. Look at the form on Matt. All right, Jack. Oh, we got a couple ballers. Two in a row diagonal working, Rhonda. Two in a row yellow, Wendy. There you go. All right, here's Mike. Okay, Mike, you got it. All right, we've got some diagonal happening here. Let's see what Scott can do. There's two in a row for you. Back to McKenzie. Everybody has gone. And McKenzie, she's got the flow now. She's got it. Grayson. And Grayson makes it two in a row that way. Here's Matt. Looking to make it three in a row. Nope, we're stacking them up here. Jack. Rhonda, one more and they win the game. You're gonna go for the block or you're gonna try and go for three in a row for yourself? The block. And yes, she blocked it. She blocked it. Wendy. There you go. She got it. Okay. Back to Mike. Mike's being strategic about it. All right, three in a row. Scott. Going for four, he wants to block it. And no. McKenzie, you can win it right here with row four. And oh, so close, it took a jump. Grayson now trying to block. And no. All right, Matt, for the win. Fourth row. Took a jump, that means Jack's still alive. 
Jack going for the block. No! Ronda for the win. For the, if it bounces, if it bounces. No. You're building as you go. Wendy, you got to block it. For, for the block. You did it. What a game. All right, Mike. Four for the win would do it. Set yourself up pretty good there. Four would do it. No. All right, Scott, another block is needed. Four for the block. No. All right, McKenzie. This could be it. There it is. You did it. McKenzie. McKenzie, who was so nervous just a few minutes ago, you won the game for your family. Feels good, right? Yeah. All right. And for winning the game, it means you've won this. Todd, it's a trampoline. From Jump Sports comes the 12 foot elite trampoline system with an exclusive integrated safety enclosure and patented Sure Step trampoline ladder. And for more backyard fun, from Slackers comes the Extreme Backyard Adventure Package featuring the 100-foot Knight Rider Zipline Kit with LED seat and the 50-foot Slackline Classic Series Kit providing hours of backyard fun from Slackers. That was something. Excellent job, everybody. And you guys got a lot of key blocks there. And just for being with us, I'm going to give your family $100. How about that, Grayson, okay? Good. It's a great game. Grayson, McKenzie, join me right up here. I need you to grab combinations, please. McKenzie, you first. You're the winning team. Anyone you like. One will open the community chest at the end of the show. Will it be blue, red, yellow? We shall find out. Great job. Great shooting down there. Good job. Where's Grayson? There you go, Grayson. Got three to choose from. And you have... Orange, yellow, red. Hold on to that till later, all right? We're going to see which family is going to play for that new car at the end of the show. But when we come back from this very short break, we've got a very special celebrity guest and his family. They're going to take the stage here on Family Game Night. He's the blockbuster star of a film I've seen about 100 times, and he'll be here next on Family Game Night. Family Game Nights. Time to play Monopoly Remix. We're really excited around here. We're mixing things up a little bit tonight because we've got a very special celebrity guest and his family. They've all come here to play a game with us tonight. Now, you know him as the star of the hit movie, Napoleon Dynamite. Yes. John Heater is here. His wife, Kirsten. His daughter, Evan. His son, Philip. Good, good. Thank you so much. Hi, Evan. Kirsten, this is great. Oh, we're so excited you guys are here. Thank you for taking time out. You all look great in purple. Ooh, yeah. It's uh, it's nice and slimming, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys watch the show at home? You've seen the games? Oh, yeah. Have we seen it? Yes. It's awesome. All right. You want to play Monopoly Remix with me? All right. Come on up here, guys. Let's Let's go. Come on up here. Woo! All right. <laughs> right over here. Right over there here. you go. Beautiful family. All right. Well, I tell you what, let me get the kids over here. I'm going to put mom and dad behind the All hotels. Right. You step right on over there, and you guys come over here. You're going to have a very important job, you two. But before we hand you the money, because I know at any moment it could just disappear, why don't we talk about the foundation that we're trying to raise $10,000 for today? 10000 John, you want to tell me about it? It's called Heifer International. It's very dear to uh, Kirsten's heart, right? Yeah. Absolutely. What, what does the organization do? Um, Heifer International is a nonprofit organization. Um, they go into poverty-stricken communities, um, give gift them animals, and they also educate them in um, agricultural practices so that they can become self-sustainable. Animals like goats and goats, cows. cows. That's cows. beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Well, we would love, love to be able to set you up with 10,000. I imagine that awesome. would help a lot of families. Now... 
I want to ask you, Philip, if you would do me a favor. Would you hold this money for me? Yeah. Okay, put your hand out like that. There you go. Now, the audience, I'm going to give you $1,000 in what? Monopoly money. <laughs> Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, You go. All right, now you hold on to that. And Evan, Evan, I know you want to help mom push, right? Okay, you can go on over there by mom. You're going to help her push those hotels. And we're going to play Monopoly Remix. Okay. Now, guys, if you want to take a look at the screens on our floor here, you're going to see Boardwalk and Park Place. Those properties, they belong to you. Your job in the game is to place your giant red hotels on top of those properties. Now, there are a couple of other spaces up there. We have luxury tax and we have income tax. Place your hotels there, you're gonna have to pay a fine. In this case, $300. All right, we don't want that to happen. Not yet, not yet. Now, I know things sound pretty easy, but in a moment, we're gonna turn over those spaces. We're gonna mix them up. So you need to keep track of them, guys, okay? All right, everybody looks set. Let's cover those spaces, please. Watch carefully, and let's start the remix. All right, ladies first, where would you like to place your hotel? One, one. Go over there, one, one. Okay, ready? One. One, one. Let's go. Let's go. Help her, help her. Ready, push, push. Okay, ready? good. You can come on back here. John, you're up. Okay, it's number three. We're right? gonna place that other three, hotel. Three, four, it's three, Daddy, Daddy, four. Daddy, two. They're saying four. You say two. I say two because I like. They're all saying four. Three. No, they're saying three. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go with my gut. Okay. All right. There's like half and half. Okay. I know. Sure? I know. I think right. it's three. Hotels are built. No, no. Let's I, see I'm how we did. We're gonna look under space number one. Space number one is... Yes! Yeah! Yeah! That's good news. All right. That's one of the properties. We want Boardwalk to be under space three. This is where we were all over the place. Let's look at space number three, please. Yeah! The money, the money is safe. Let's take a look at the rest of the board here. Just so we know the taxes are still there. All right, guys, go ahead and grab your hotels and bring them on back. Okay, we made it through that round. Philip, we still have all of our money here? Okay, we still have every single penny. We're gonna make it a little tougher though, a little tougher. Now, in this round, there are five spaces. Boardwalk and Park Place are still the ones we're focusing on. There they are. The fines, however, are now raised to $400. And we've added another penalty space, street repairs up there. Okay. Take a look at Boardwalk, take a look at Park Place. Let's turn them over and let's remix. All right, John, this time you want to place your hotel first? Five, right? Three, three, I don't know, I don't know. Three. Minus three, don't touch mine. Oh, yours is three? Five. Three, three, three. Five. five. No, hers is three. We're going to stick with it. All right. Right here. Okay. I don't feel good about this one. He's not 100% sure. What? All right, Kirsten, go ahead. Oh, let's go, let's go. Oh, she looks much more sure. Okay. Hotels have been built. I lost that one. Let's see how we did. Was this just a complete guess? I was a total guess. <laughs> let's reveal space number five, please. Yeah! <laughs> Philip and I are doing the Philip happy dance. Okay, space number three. Yeah! Give me a little bit. High five. All right. Oh, you. We're doing it. 
Ah, all right. Best high five ever. Take a look at the rest of the board here. We got to show you where all the... Okay. All right. At the end of that round, we still have all of the money. We're getting close to that $10,000. Evan, you're doing great, by the way. I think you're the good luck touch over here. Philip, we still have all of our money, right? Yeah. Okay, come on yeah. back over here. All right. Now, this is it. This is the last round. This is the last round. If there is any and then, and money. And then after this game, then what? Then we party. If there's anybody left at the end of this round, you win the game and you win the $10,000 for your charity. All right? That's what we want. Ah. And then we have a party for the whole audience. This round is even more difficult because now we have six spaces up there on the board. Boardwalk and Park Place are still up there. The fines, the fines go up to $500. And we've also added one more space, bankrupt. Be careful of bankrupt. If you build a hotel on it, you lose all of the money. Watch the properties very carefully, guys. I wish you luck. Boardwalk Park Place. Let's turn them over, please. And let's remix. Okay. okay. I got it. I got it. Right. I got it. Who wants six. to go first? I was six. What? Well, okay, we're good on six. <laughs> I'll let you go first. Two. I'm gonna go for two. We're gonna go for two. We're gonna go for two. Okay. All right. John, it's all you. All right, all right. It's six. six. I'm listening That's to me, not you guys. Yeah, six. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Philip, we want to make sure we have some money left. We're gonna, which one do you guys want to look at first? Uh, six. Let's look, six. Let's look at six first. I feel like, yeah, yeah, because we don't know about that one. Okay. All right. The lovely Heater family would like to look at space number six, please. Let's take a look. It is. Yes. Yeah. Boardwalk. Board okay. Okay. Now. Okay. No boardwalk. No guys. As long, as long as that number two spot is not bankrupt. Heifer International has just picked up $10,000. Okay? All right. Can we please... Everybody in the audience, get your fingers crossed. Okay, come on. Space number... We got to tell you how much we love Napoleon Dynamite, by the way. I know that this is... Oh, okay, okay. All right. Space number two, come on! Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. $10,000 for Heifer International. The Heater family, everybody. The Heater family. Thank you guys so very much. Hey, we'll be right back with more Family Game Night. Don't you go anywhere. You know, I got to tell you, this group, incredible. You guys are great. And now it's time to pick the two families who get to play Battleship. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? It's going to be Brooke and Raul. It's your turn to play. And to play against you, it's going to be Kiari and Denevia. Come on up. How are you? What are you doing? A little, a little dance there? How are you? It's an a pleasure. Are you all ready to battle the high seas with me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Woo. This is the way battleship works. You see our grid. We're going to hide a fleet of six ships 
on that battleship grid. Now, three of the six are cruisers. They stretch over two squares. Then we have a couple of submarines, and the subs, they stretch over three squares. Then we have Big Mama. This is our battleship, and she stretches over four squares. You see him? Yeah. You see him? Yeah. Okay, let's hide those ships, please. All right, guys, your job in the game is to find those ships. And the way you do it is by calling out a coordinate and pressing your giant launch button to fire a peg right at it. Let me go ahead and load a peg up for you back here. Yeah, there it is. If your peg hits a ship, you sink it and you score. You want to be the family that sinks three ships first. That's how you win the game. If you do that, you got a need for speed package coming your way. We love those need for speed packages. All right, let's play Battleship. Okay. Brooke, tell me which square you want to aim for here. C3. C3? All right, C3. We'll lock it in for you. Three, two, one. Launch it. You got a hit. That's a hit. Good way to start the game. Come over to Kiari. All right, where are you looking? B2. B2. Okay, we'll lock it in. Here we go, audience. Three, two, one. Launch. And there's a hit. You got Big Mama. Yeah. All right. One one. Back to you, Brooke. D one. D one. D one. D one. All right, we're gonna lock it in for you. Three, two, one. Launch it. D one. A hit. Another hit. Three launches. Three hits in a row. Let's see if we can keep it going. Kiari. Yes. Where are we looking here? B five. B five. Yes. Over there. Three. Two, one, one, launch. Here comes B5. Oh, a miss. Okay. Okay, okay. It's not over yet, but it does mean you could win it right here. One more hit. You're two for two. D5. 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 Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. For the win. It is a hit. Good battleship action over there. And for winning battleship, look what else you've won. You just won a go-kart party. K1 Speed is a revolution in indoor karting with its award-winning centers, European-style racing, and professionally designed racetracks. K1 Speed. And for more speed at home, from Rockboard comes the RBX. Propulsion is achieved with each rock, wasting zero energy and allowing the scooter to reach speeds up to 10 miles per hour. The patented Rockboard RBX scooter is also built to handle large adults who are kids at heart. All right, let's go ahead and reveal the rest of the ships up there just so we can see where they were. And for playing such a great game, I'm going to give you guys $100. Thank, Thank you very much. Ladies, if you would, please join me right up there by Mr. Monopoly. Let's grab those combinations. Brooke, you get to choose first since you guys won. There are two remaining. You go that one? Okay. We have green, blue, and red. Green, blue, and red. Just need to hold on to it for a couple minutes, okay? All right, Kiari, that last one is yours. Let's see what it is. It's blue, red, and orange. This might open the chest that sends you on to play for the car. Great game, all right? Thank you, guys. The big moment when we all head over to the community chest, and of course, the crazy cash machine is coming up right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. It's family game night. Here it is, the moment of truth. The moment we see which of tonight's fabulous families is holding the secret combination to unlock the community chest. And when we find that family, they will move on to play our crazy cash game where they are guaranteed to win some real money, maybe even a brand new car. Maybe. It's happened a lot. 
Okay, let's get on with it. What do you say, Narai? Okay? All right. You've got your combination. Now, what I'm going to ask you all to do when you step up to the community chest is place your combination right in that slot there. You'll see the code lock in here. When you see the code locked, you hit the red button. The chest hopefully will open. If it doesn't, just know that we love you and we thank you for coming to see us. Okay? All right. Narai, when you're ready. Right in there it goes. Locked in. Are you set? Push that button. What? What? Oh. No, wait a minute. What? This is not happening. It's not happening? This is not happening. Are you sure? Because I'm telling you this. There's an no. awful lot of confetti floating around for this not to be happening. When no. we see confetti, we know serious? things are happening. Oh my God, we just went to Vega and yes. <laughs> Thank you to all of our fabulous families. It's been great. Let's go up here to the crazy cash machine. She doesn't even think this is happening. Okay, it's time now to play the Monopoly Crazy Cash Machine. Let's do it. You started off the show, you got your trip to Jamaica. Yeah. You made it up to here right now. We have four rows of Monopoly Crazy Cash cards right over there. You see the top row, the wheelbarrow, the hamburger, the cannon, and the skateboard there? One of those cards is a win card. If you can make your way up there, you find that win card, not only do you have the trip to Jamaica, but you've got a brand new car. All right. But you gotta work your way up. You gotta work your way up from the bottom row. You're gonna pick cards that are worth cash, and that money is yours to keep no matter what. Be careful, because you can also pick a go-to-jail card. Anytime you pick a go-to-jail card, it ends the game. Those are the rules. We're gonna start on the bottom row. Now, they are all worth money down there. No go-to-jail cards, only cash. All right, who's gonna pick the first card? All right, all right. You're the good luck, good luck charm. Soda. All right, right in there. We know it's gonna be worth money. How much remains to be seen. Get ready to catch all that money. It's gonna come out. You got $500. 500. Now, we're gonna move up to the next row. There are four cards. One of them is a go to jail card. The other three are worth money. Come on, Courtney. The horse. I know what you're all asking yourselves. You're asking yourself, Todd, is she expecting you to put it into the Monopoly crazy cash machine? Because she handed it to me and she walked away. I want you I to put it in there. Put it in. put it in there. We hope it is not a go to jail card. And it is, oh no, go to jail. But the $500 and the trip to Jamaica. All yours. Great meeting you. Lloyd, thank you. Courtney, thank you. Congratulations to all of our winners tonight. So you know, the win part tonight was the wheelbarrow. We want to thank all of our families, and we want to thank you and your family for watching. I'm Todd Newton. We'll see you next time on Family Game Night. Bye-bye, everybody.